Hi and welcome everyone, I'm Gavin Lon. So the kings of the JavaScript spa web technologies are no doubt React and Angular. But in this video we are asking the question, is Blazor better than Angular? We've already compared React to Blazor in a previous video. You can check out that video at this location. And in this video we are comparing Blazor to Angular. We'll get to Blazor shortly, but let's first start with a quick experiment. Let's hear it for React. Let's hear it for Angular. Okay, okay. So that's a bit of an exaggeration, but it's clear that React has become far more popular than Angular. But just because React is far more popular than Angular doesn't necessarily mean that React is better than Angular. But that is a topic for another video. In this video, we want to explore whether Blazor is better than Angular. Let's start with an overview of Angular, and then we'll recap our knowledge of Blazor. And then we'll progress to the part where we'll compare Blazor to Angular. Angular is a front-end JavaScript framework developed by Google. It was first released in 2016. A precursor to Angular was a technology known as AngularJS, which was also a free, open-source, JavaScript-based web framework for developing single-page applications and was also developed by Google. AngularJS was released in 2010. It is important to note that AngularJS has been discontinued. In this video, we are focused on the SPA or single page application web framework known as Angular, which as discussed was released in 2016. And we are not concerned with AngularJS, which is a discontinued SPA web framework that preceded Angular. Angular is a platform and a framework where TypeScript and HTML are used for the creation of Angular components, which are the fundamental building blocks of Angular applications. TypeScript can be described as a superset of JavaScript, which means it provides all the features and functionalities of JavaScript with some added features. The main reason for JavaScript's existence is to provide static typing to JavaScript, JavaScript is a dynamically typed language. So one of the main benefits of TypeScript is, for example, to allow for robust client-side code to be developed before it is compiled or transpiled in this case and deployed into production. This robustness is ensured because through the use of TypeScript, all type-related issues can be flagged and dealt with at compile time before the code is released into production. TypeScript first appeared on the 1st of October 2012 and was developed by Microsoft. An interesting fact is that Anders Heilsberg, a prominent Danish software engineer, was a co-creator of TypeScript. If you've seen any of my top 10 reasons to learn c -sharp videos, you'll know that Anders Heilsberg was the leader of the team at Microsoft that developed c -sharp. c -sharp, of course, is known for being a statically typed programming language. So it is important to note that TypeScript code cannot be understood directly by the browser, so it must be transpiled into JavaScript before it is released into production. Transpiling can be described as the process of appropriately converting source code written in one language to the source code of another language. So in Angular, the TypeScript code is first transpiled into appropriate JavaScript code before it is released into production. Angular is in fact written in TypeScript. Every Angular application has at least one component, the root component that connects a component hierarchy with the page document object model, DOM. Each component defines a class that contains application data and logic and is associated with a HTML template that defines a view to be displayed in a target environment. So Angular is a popular component-based front-end SPA web development framework that allows developers to create sophisticated, responsive, and complex front ends for the web. Blazor is a free open source web framework and enables developers to use C Sharp and HTML to create component based UIs for the web. It is being developed by Microsoft and was first released in 2018. At the time of creating this video, .NET 7 is the latest stable release 
of .NET. With .NET 7, you can leverage two technologies, which are denoted by two disparate project templates, namely Blazor Server and Blazor WebAssembly. These two technologies can both be used for creating super-fast UI component-based responsiveness on the web. So, user interactivity is super-fast and smooth with Blazor, where only the part of the web page that needs to change is updated appropriately in the browser, which means the entire web page does not need to be refreshed every time changes need to be made to the web page due to a user interacting with that web page. This results in a super fast and smooth UX user experience. The fundamental difference between Blazor Server and Blazor WebAssembly is that with Blazor WebAssembly, the .NET libraries and code libraries are downloaded to the browser and run within the browser on a technology known as WebAssembly. So the C-sharp code for a Blazor WebAssembly application is in effect run within the browser. With Blazor Server, the C-sharp code logic is run on the server. When, for example, a change is made to a web page through a user interacting with that web page, the change is calculated on the server and pushed down to the browser via a signal R connection. The appropriate change is then updated within the user's browser without the need for the entire web page to be refreshed. So with Blazor Server, a persistent signal R connection is maintained between client and server and the C-sharp code logic runs on the server. With Blazor WebAssembly, the relevant runtime DLLs and code DLLs written in C-sharp are downloaded to the browser and run within the browser on a technology known as WebAssembly. With the release of .NET 8, due to be released this month, November 2023, server-side rendering, or SSR, will be available for Blazor applications. This will mean that Blazor applications through server-side rendering can benefit from super fast initial load times and better SEO, search engine optimization. Note that static website generation will not be released with .NET 8, but Microsoft intends to make this functionality available in subsequent releases of .NET. With the release of .NET 8, Blazor WebAssembly components, Blazor Server components, and server-side rendering, or SSR, can be leveraged from within one project. So the developer no longer needs to choose between Blazor WebAssembly and Blazor Server project types, one project template type, namely Blazor Web App, where all Blazor features can be leveraged from within one project derived from this new project template shipped with .NET 8. So in my opinion, with the release of .NET 8, Blazor is becoming a highly competitive web framework. Similarities between Blazor and Angular. They are both open source free SPA single page application development frameworks designed to create highly responsive UIs on the web. With the release of .NET 8, Blazor includes the ability for web pages to be server side rendered, SSR, which means initial load times of web pages will be faster than if they were client side rendered. SSR also means better SEO, search engine optimization. So both Blazor and Angular support SSR, server-side rendering, and CSR, client-side rendering. Both Blazor and Angular can take advantage of statically typed languages. In the case of Blazor, c -sharp is leveraged for this purpose, and in the case of Angular, TypeScript is leveraged for this purpose. Both Blazor and Angular use a component-based architecture for the structuring and design of UIs for web applications. Both Blazor and Angular can be used to create native cross-platform mobile and desktop applications from a single code base. So both these technologies can be used to target web, mobile web, iOS, Angular, macOS, Windows, and Linux platforms. Angular can use, for example, Electron to create cross-platform desktop applications and Ionic for the development of cross-platform mobile applications. Blazor can use Blazor Hybrid and .NET MAUI for the development of cross-platform mobile and cross-platform desktop applications, where a single code base can be used to target web, mobile web, iOS, Android, macOS, Windows, and Linux platforms. Both Blazor and Angular can use scoped CSS style sheets, where a specific style sheet only applies to a specific component. Both frameworks support PWAs, PWA stands for Progressive Web Application. A progressive web app, PWA, 
can be described as an app that's built using web platform technologies but provides a user experience like that of a platform-specific app. Differences between Blazor and Angular So let's look at some of the main differences between Blazor and Angular. The most obvious difference is that Blazor is C-sharp and .NET based, whereas Angular is TypeScript based. Blazor uses Razor files that are a mix between C-sharp and HTML for the expression of self-contained UI components. Angular uses TypeScript and HTML templates for the expression of self-contained UI components. In Angular, TypeScript is used for the implementation of code logic and in Blazor C-sharp is used for the implementation of code logic. With Blazor, full-stack applications can be written using one technology, whereas with Angular, only the front end can be implemented using Angular. In a full-stack application, where Angular is used, a different technology to implement back-end functionality must be used. For example, .NET and C-sharp can be used to implement the back-end functionality for an Angular full-stack application, or Node.js and JavaScript may be used for this purpose. In a Blazor full-stack application, C-sharp and .NET can be leveraged for both front-end and back-end functionality. This is actually a huge advantage that Blazor has over Angular and React. Learning Angular in general comes with a steeper learning curve when compared to learning Blazor. If you are already familiar with C-sharp and .NET and not as familiar with JavaScript frameworks or TypeScript, Blazor will certainly be easier to learn than Angular. Many design patterns are used In the overall architecture of Angular, for example, the MVC design pattern, the MVC design pattern facilitates the separation of the view layer from the code logic layer, which may suit certain developers who are familiar with this design pattern. One advantage of the MVC design pattern is that it can facilitate better testing of code logic. So a clear separation of concerns is established through the MVC design pattern. Angular has a large community and extensive free open source resources available that Angular developers can easily integrate into their Angular applications to provide rich UI functionality. Blazor's community and free open source resources are growing steadily, but I think in general the Angular ecosystem is far larger. Examples of great free UI resources available for Blazor developers are as follows. Blazorize. Radzen. Mud Blazor, Matte Blazor, Microsoft Fluent UI Blazor Components, Blazor Strap, and Design Blazor. Examples of great free UI resources available for Angular developers include Angular Material, Varden, Nebula, NG Bootstrap, Prime NG, Angular Google Maps, NGX Translate, Angular Fire 2, NG2 File Upload. So which of these technologies do we choose? So if you're already heavily invested in .NET and C-sharp and are not familiar with Angular at all, Blazor is the logical choice. If you are not so familiar with .NET and C-sharp, but are familiar with JavaScript and TypeScript, perhaps Angular is a good choice. Although, even if you are familiar with a technology like, for example, React, and not yet familiar with Angular, Angular still arguably will present you with a steep learning curve. This is because the architecture regarding the way React components are implemented is very different to the way Angular components are implemented. If your requirement is to develop a full-stack application where it is deemed better to use one technology to develop both the front-end and back-end functionality, Blazor is the clear choice. If your requirement is to integrate your solution with the broader .NET ecosystem, Blazor is the clear choice. If salary is your criteria, you can simply research what salaries, companies, in and around the area in which you live, pay Blazor and Angular developers. Perhaps you just prefer the look and feel of one technology over the other. So, is one technology better than the other? As is usually the case when comparing two great technologies, the answer isn't always clear. One has to look at one's own personal context and weigh up the pros and cons of the two technologies in question. In this video, I've discussed what I think are the main points of comparison between Blazor and Angular. If you feel that I've left out some important points, please let me know what they are in the comments section. 
Please also let me know which of these technologies you prefer and why. I think that will be a great discussion. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. Please also ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this through my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It of course will be greatly appreciated. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. I've recently joined X, formerly Twitter, so it would be great if you'd follow me on X. My username is at Gavin Digital. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care.